If you are not satisfied with a decision made by the Traffic and Parking Commission, you may appeal the decision by filing for a writ of certiorari with the Davidson County Chancery or Circuit Court. Your appeal must be filed within 60 days of the date of the entry of the Commission's decision. We advise that you seek your own independent legal advice to ensure that your appeal is filed in a timely manner and that all procedural requirements have been met. I ask for an approval of today's agenda. Is there a first? So moved. We have a first. Is there a second? We have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? None. The agenda is approved. Seek approval of the minutes of the December 2018 meeting. Is there a first? So moved. We have a first. Is there a second? We have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? None. The minutes of the December meeting are approved. The approval of the consent agenda. Please note that items on the consent agenda will be voted on at a single time. No individual public hearing will be held, nor will the commission debate these items unless a member of the audience or the commission requests that the item be removed from the consent agenda. Before reading the consent agenda, are there any items, anyone seeking to be removed? Okay. Consent agenda 19-01, a mandatory referral is a, is, 2019M004AB001, a request for the abandonment of right away along Falk, Falk Street and alley number 140 from 8th Avenue South eastward towards the railroad and along alley number 159 from Falk Street northward to alley number 140. Requested by Toon, Intricate and White, PC and Public Works applicant Harmony Leo LLC owners. Traffic regulations, item B, authorized stop sign at Otenville Avenue and Moss Road requested by Metro Public Works. Item C, reduce the speed limit on Rice Avenue from Franklin Limestone Road to the dead end from 30 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour requested by Metro Public Works. Item D, authorize an all-way stop at Riverwood Drive and Kennedy Avenue requested by Council Member Davis. Item E, authorize all-way stop at Dakota Avenue and 42nd Avenue North requested by MPW for developer. Item F, authorize stop sign at Robwood Drive and Starlight Drive requested by Council Member Haywood. Item G, Authorized stop sign at Oak View Drive and Starlight Drive requested by Council Member Haywood. Item H, increase the speed limit from 30 to 35 miles per hour on River Road Pike from the quarry to River Road requested by Council Member Rosenberg. Item I, authorize a traffic signal at 11th Avenue South and McGavick Street requested by KCI Technologies for a Syrian. J, authorize a traffic signal at Church Street Bridge at a Syrian garage above 11th Avenue requested by KCI Technologies for a Syrian. Having read the consent agenda, is there a motion to approve? So moved. We have a first. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The consent agenda has been approved. New business item one, clarification of 12.36.080 directing Metro Public Works to continue the issuance of excessive size and weight permits. Mr. Knopf, can you provide some clarification, please? I'm just gonna be the introduction guy. Metro Legal is gonna present their opinion on, long story short, there's a code that says the traffic commission needs to approve permits for moving large vehicles or houses and that sort of thing. Jeff's going to give us an update on how he perceives that code to be interpreted, and we're going to eventually ask your blessing on what we should do from here.
Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the commission. Happy New Year to you all. Jeff Hammond, Metro Public Works. Uh, you have a slide here in front of you that, that gives uh, the whole of, of a section of Metro code dealing with this issue, uh, excess size and weight um, permitting. This is a bit of a housekeeping issue for us. Uh, this came up um, over this past weekend. You may be aware a unique event happened whereby the locomotive that's been in, in Centennial Park for many years was relocated uh, outside of the park. Um, and that present that was obviously an oversized vehicle and, and presented some questions for us uh, as we looked at permitting uh, that very unique uh, uh, event. Uh, Mr. Brian Baker, who is with us today, oversees that activity for Metro Public Works, among other things that he does. And very conscientiously, he came and said, you know, this is a, a, a unique uh, moving um, event. Is this something that the Traffic and Parking Commission needs to weigh in on, be made aware of, et cetera, uh, looking at this piece of Metro code? So we looked at it and said, interesting, I'm not sure. So there are, there are two um, pieces of the code that I have underlined for you in, in dealing with um, Ms. Costonis and Ms. Ladd and, and Metro Legal. Uh, we thought it was best to bring this before you get your take on it, and, and, um, and then we can proceed from there. In section A of the code, it, it reads the first sentence, the Department of Public Works will issue a special permit in writing at the direction of Traffic and Parking Commission. That to us sounded like the permits need to in some way come through you all. We will issue them, but it's at, at the direction of this body. But if you go on down to, to item C, it says the Department of Public Works shall issue or withhold such permits at its discretion and then goes on to talk about how we might uh, withhold permits or accept them depending on the circumstances. So uh, we are here today asking for, again, a bit of housekeeping, uh, asking you to basically ratify the current practice, which is to allow Metro Public Works and our staff to continue to have oversight of, of accepting, reviewing, modifying, and, and ultimately approving those permits. That's what this is really all about. It's not a change. There's nothing else coming up in front of us. We just wanted to make sure we were all working on the same page about how you wanted us to uh, approve these permits. Do we need a motion? Thank you, Mr. Hammond. Yes. What do we need, legal counsel, please? So yes, um, what Mr. Hammond has presented is exactly right. Um, our recommendation would be um, that you um, uh, do do a motion um, in which you kind of ratify in kind of a blanket way the authorization of staff of Public Works to continue to use their current process to issue these oversized vehicle permits. Um, uh, that would avoid the necessity of them having to come back to you for individual permits, which is, you know, probably not really necessary. Um, and um, what we suspect is that probably decades ago, something like this came before the then Traffic and Parking Commission, and we just no longer have a record of that authorization. So we just thought to just do some housekeeping, like you said, have it come before you, have you go ahead and do a motion giving your direction to the staff to continue to follow the process that they have been following, which um, my office looked at, I think about three years ago, Ms. Ladd, that um, uh, Mr. Hammond mentioned, looked at it and helped them, you know, make sure that their, their process was um, in line with state law and everything so um, we would recommend that we think that the way they do it is fine and we would recommend that you ratify it would someone like to present a motion please I'll make a motion that uh, we recommend that the staff continue to follow the process for permits for excess size and weight and use its discretion discretion as needed That's it. We have a first is there a second I'll second we have a first and a second all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. It is passed. Thank you, Mr. Hammond. Where did they move that train to? I saw it on the news. Uh, Mr. Baker per could probably give a more complete answer, but it's over behind Marathon Motor Works, as I understand it. Uh, and, and then it's, it's going to be rehabbed. Uh, that, that train that has set, set there that long is actually going to be put back in service and to make day trips back and forth out of Nashville, is my understanding. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, the next item is a deferred business item, uh, authorized valet parking at Montrose at 2526 12th Avenue South, requested by the parking management company. Is it? What's the situation with that, Ms. Marshall? At the request of the council member, we're requesting a one month deferral on this. Okay. All right, is there a motion to defer, please? We have a first. Is there a second? We have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? The motion has been approved. Okay. Mr. Knopf, are there any other items? You might want to just check with the audience. I see a few people that might be here for one reason or another that weren't on the agenda. Okay. Are there? That's the reason why I deferred to you. Okay. Who is, who is here that... I see some folks in the back. Somebody just raised their hand. Yes, sir. You all deferred the valet. I was going to speak on it. Did you defer it one month? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Okay. Is there anyone else here to speak? Okay. Seeing none. I make a motion to adjourn. Uh, we have a motion. Is there a second? All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. What time is it? This has been a service of the Metro National Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information about this and other programs, visit Nashville.gov.